what is going on hope you're having a great day in today's video we're going to be going over some of the effects that they use for molly santana's new music video i really liked the different ways that they used the rotoscope effects and they're also really simple to do so let's just get right into it in after effects for the first effect we're going to be overlapping the layers as well as creating a mass path animation so let's first begin by duplicating this first layer click ctrl d Bring this layer eight frames forward, grab this third layer and also make sure that it's eight frames forward from the layer from before. So now we have kind of like a stutter effect at the start and then it cuts to the next layer. Grab the rectangle tool and then open up the proportional grid. I'm going to mask out this part of the layer. I'll also just solo it and we're going to keyframe the mass path. Click that layer and click M in order to open up the mass path. Go forward one frame. We're going to grab the two left points and just drag it forward so that it slowly reveals more of the layer. And then we're going to go forward one frame again and then just drag these two points all the way so that it fully reveals the layer. And now, as you guys can see, we have a mass path reveal. Easy ease all three of these keyframes and then copy and paste it to the third layer. Now, when I play this through, we have that really simple mass path animation between these layers. Moving on to the second effect, we're going to be creating that effect where we have the background overlapping with our subject. First, start out by rotoscoping our layer. So double click it. In my case, I'm going to rotoscope our subject here on the left. And then I'm also going to rotoscope the car. After rotoscoping your subject, you want to then click the freeze button in order to lock in your rotoscope. Go back into the composition. We're going to adjust the feather as well as the shift edge. I'll increase that to 8. Decrease the shift edge to negative 20. Duplicate that layer. And for the bottom layer, you want to delete the rotor brush effect. I'm also just going to rename that to BG for background. The background layer is the layer that we're going to be masking. Open up the proportional grid. Grab the rectangle tool. So in order to create this effect, I want the background layer to be masked out. And I also want my rotoscoped subjects to create that overlap of the background. So in my case, I'm going to mask it out like this so that we have some overlap of the car as well as our subject here on the left. Now when I play this, this is what we have for the effect. So I obviously didn't do the best job rotoscoping, but if you were to create an effect like this, you definitely want to spend a lot of time to rotoscope your subject. But this is the final look for the second mask effect. Now moving on to the third and final effect, we're going to be creating this split screen overlap effect where we have a rotoscope subject and then we're going to have it overlap with a solid layer. I'll be showing you guys two different ways that you can create this. Let's first begin by rotoscoping our subject. After rotoscoping your subject, make sure to adjust the feather as well as the shift edge because we want to make sure that we have smoother edges in order to create this effect. I'm going to increase the feather to 10 and then decrease the shift edge to negative 50. We're going to duplicate this layer and then we're going to delete the rotor brush effect for that bottom layer. Also just rename that to background. Create a new solid layer and make sure the solid layer is black. Have that solid layer in between the rotoscope layer as well as the background layer. We're going to move position of the solid layer. So turn on the proportional grid and I'm going to have it cover exactly half of the composition. And just like that, this is how the effect is created. Now I'm going to show you the second way in order to create this effect. We still get the same exact result. So turn off that solid layer. And for this background layer, we're going to add an effect called crop edges. As you guys can see, it crops out some of our background layer. And for this effect, we're only going to be focusing on the crop right. So I'm going to delete all these other effects. In order to create the effect, you can just increase the transition completion. I'll increase that to like 53%. And just like that, we have the same exact effect, but there's a lot of different ways that you can modify the background. I'm gonna delete this again and add the crop edges effect again. And if I were to modify this crop edges effect, it looks just like the effect that we did before this, but there's a lot of different ways that you can modify these effects. You just have to make sure that you delete all the other effects so that if I only wanna control the top part or it's really the bottom part, but if you change the directions, it can crop whatever direction that you want. In this case, I can have the background layer overlapping like that, and then we still have a similar effect. But yeah, guys, those are different ways that you can crop the background in order to create this rotoscope overlapping effect. And that is all I have for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.